Daily Buzz. I'm JQ and I'm bringing you the latest entertainment and lifestyle news happening in Ghana and beyond. Now let me jump into my first story and it has to do with the man Samuel L. Jackson. Now we all know he was in Ghana recently to shoot um, part of his enslaved documentary and then he visited some of the rural sites in Ghana, mostly Cape Coast, Salt Spawn, you know, he was based more in the central region and whilst he was in Ghana, he kept updating his followers on social media with photos of all his activities and anything that caught his attention, he put it on social media. But a lot of people had problems with the photos he was posting because apparently it wasn't putting Ghana in the good light, you know, it was just showing a poor side and the, you know, underdeveloped side of the country where people felt he could, you know, have posted more of Accra and more vibrant activities that happened in the country. So, my boss, the ever controversial blogger, Amir Adebra, you know, took to Twitter and tried to reach out to him, you know, to get an interview and get his take on this. And then he basically said, I'm going to read, there is nothing to unload here. I posted what caught my eye and I know all too well the posts coming from the continent show an affluent, modern and high fashion lifestyle enjoyed by many. Who cares what my hotel room looked like so someone is saying you guys come you can flaunt all the flashy stuff your hotel room your cars and everything but he posted what caught his attention so nobody he means no one can question him about it and if we all know someone he ends everything and says everything with you ma -a -a -a. so basically he's saying it in a polished way to all his critics that he said he posted what he saw and you have to deal with it if you don't then that's not his business, it's yours. Anyways, what do you guys think? Do you think, you know, his response was okay or do you think his critics are right? He should have posted more lovely photos of Ghana. Okay, guys, now from one American celebrity to the other, I'm going to be talking about Steve Harvey, who's been in the country with his family on, you know, his marriage anniversary with his wife. And he and his family got to visit the Elmina and Cape Coast Castle and, you know, learn about the slave trade and all that it entailed. And he took to um, Instagram and Twitter and shared a video of his experience there. And he wrote, There was real pain. I felt going back to Ghana's slave castles. I could feel my ancestors on me, powerful beyond words that I could explain. I encourage as many of you as possible to go home for your ancestors. So he shared photos and videos of him walking through, you know, the dungeons and then basically he looked very, very sad about the whole incident, you know, that has to do with slave trade. And he also, you know, through a video, admonished those living in the diaspora to come visit him because according to him, Ghana is home and he's working with a lot of, you know, businesses in the country to make sure that they bridge the gap between Africans and African-Americans, which is good, you know, Steve Harvey trying to do that. It's not just about visiting, but it's also about doing something impactful so that when you leave, people can still feel your presence. So those who are coming for the year of return, please don't just come, come and partner with Ghanaian businesses and help grow the continent as well. I will jump into my next story, which has to do with another Hollywood actor. And this time is Danny Glover. So you guys, if you know Danny Glover, he's, you know, one of the legendary African-American actors in the United States. And he is on his way to Ghana as well. He's expected to arrive um, with a group of people who are part of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. NAACP. So they are, you know, coming to Ghana, also part of the year of return. They are coming to experience Ghana. They'll be moving from Accra to Kumasi to Cape Coast. They'll be waiting with the president for a black tie gala. Um, they'll go to Jamestown. So the, the whole event is basically dubbed Jamestown to Jamestown. There's Jamestown, Virginia. So they're going to start from Jamestown, Virginia, hold a candlelight and um, procession, visit the African Museum. And then they'll be flying to Accra, Ghana, and then visit Jamestown, meet with the local chiefs, and experience, you know, Ghana and everything that it has to offer. So it's a year of return. Everybody's coming home. Danny Glover is coming home. We don't know who else will be coming home, but who do you really want to see visit Ghana this year um, as part of the year of return? I really, really, really want to see Beyonce, Beyonce, Riri, uh, Blakey Minaj. 
yeah i really want to see you know the top 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 so if you have anyone you wish to see come to ghana for the year of return drop in the comment section below and tell us who you are expecting to see now let's move to our local stars and ghanian rapper jay so is officially off the market Mm-hmm. Jesso got married over the weekend to his longtime girlfriend, Erajua Mills. Now, the two have been dating for a very, very, very long time, and they had a very private, strictly by invitation wedding at the La Palm Royal Beach Hotel this weekend. And congratulations to the two of them. You know, everybody's getting married, everybody's celebrating anniversary, like Becca and her husband, who celebrated their one-year anniversary over the weekend. Let's move, let's move on to some music stars and let's talk about Pata PZ. So Pata pa finally launched his Patupa album. But you guys, check this out. He didn't just launch Patupa. He changed the album last minute. So it was no more Patupa. It's Patupa Scott Patumana. And it was a huge concert in Suejo. All the stars were there. Kwa Kese, um, Donzi, Kofi Kenata, Wendy Shea, Ishan. A whole lot of people went to support him. And what was amazing was the fact that the people in Suejo came out in their numbers. They were on their feet from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. That long. And it was so much fun. You know, if you look at the videos, it looked like he had a blast. And congratulations to Patapa. He sold his first copy for 60,000 Ghana CD. Yeah, that huge. Um, one of the Swedish chiefs bought the first copy of the Patu Pasco Patumana album for 60,000 Ghana CD. So, congratulations to Pata Pizzi. And then, that's about it, guys. We hope to see you same time, same place next week. Follow us on social media, at TV on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And me, the talkative, on Instagram is at I am Jackie underscore JQ and on Twitter is JQ underscore B-E-B-E. -E. I'm going to see you same time, same place tomorrow. Bye-bye.